right, hey, welcome guys. I didn't title this, but the title is gonna be, What Diets Will Not Do For You. And what will diets not do with you? First of all, most people, you know, are, teach, are, are, are sharing that the only way to lose weight is dieting or exercise. But here's the real problem with dieting and exercise. Once you come off the diet, guess what happens? You go back to your normal, emotionally programmed eating systems. What does that mean? That means, first of all, what we have within us, we've been emotionally indoctrinated to have certain eating patterns, such as clean your plate, people are starving, guilt eating, um, trying to find love, scarf eating, eating so fast that you didn't even get the taste of food. Um, you're getting an emotional fix from chocolate, ice cream, cookies. Diets don't fix that program. Diets are designed, try to control food outside you. Not, no control inside you. And so I have, a, I have a system that absolutely will change everything about you and your weight and your personal value. Which means um, when you have food and you're salivating, even though you're not hungry, you're still making yourself eat it because there's something inside that says, I want this, that piece will never be solved with a diet. No exercise program will stop this. That's why, and I know a lot of people go onto a diet, they lose the weight, they suffer, they endure, they exercise, they accomplish the weight, and next thing you know, it all comes back plus a little extra. And the reason is, is that you're not changing the problem. If weight were the problem, weight by itself was the problem, if you lose it once, the problem is solved forever. But it's not the problem. It's unconscious emotional patterns, eating patterns, coping mechanisms, dealing with things that you don't know how to deal with. So here it is, I feel bad. And I always say that people are, are what I call escapaholics. So they escape from how they feel. How do they escape from how they feel? I feel bad, or I feel lonely, or I need some love. And then you find yourself in the cupboard, in the refrigerator, and you're eating to try to make yourself feel better. This here will not be solved with a diet program. This here will not be solved with an exercise program because the programming is already inside you. This program makes you eat even when you're not hungry. This program will drive you to do things you don't wanna do. Now, of course, my name is Robert Jean. I'm an expert at how the mind works. I've been working for over 10, I see, how many years? 10, 12 years in drug rehabs. And I've been teaching people how to get control over food for since 2002, so what is this, 2024, for 22 years. It is an emotional, doctrinated system. People use food to protect themselves, to put a barrier up because they don't want to be abused or hurt. The emotional trauma at the table, the emotional trauma at the table, you scarf it down and you want to hurry up and get away from there. Or better yet, it's the love. It's love, love, love. Now, if you think about it, chocolate has no love in it. Chocolate doesn't care for you. But how is it that you're trying to get an emotional fix from chocolate? Because when you ring the bell, you feed the person chocolate, ring the chocolate, feed the person, and they feel love. They put love in the chocolate, but there's no love in chocolate because they can't love you. We can lock you in a room with a thousand pounds of chocolate and you won't find love. It'll get to the point you says, I'm not interested. So here's the point. And you're emotionally conditioned to eat when you're not hungry. You know when you eat, mm, I smell something. Food, the smell of food makes you eat it. Everybody else is eating, so you go eat too. Or better yet, oh, it's time to eat. The clock tells you when to eat. Do you know how to eat and to listen to your body? Do you know how to eat to be in control of your life? Because I'm telling you, there's a, there's a lot of people who've used my system. Now, this, this system that I use is a self-empowering system. Your self-esteem will go up as you use this. Your, your personal value goes up. Your relationships will improve. Your health will improve. Everything will improve when you use my system. And my system teaches you how to be in control of the mind. Changing the emotional relationships with food, with yourself, and with others. I teach you how to love yourself. Learn how to like yourself from within yourself. This is the jackpot.
for personal transformation because it's an it's a operating system. We've been conditioned to put the same amount of food on and eat it, eat it all, lick the plate clean, and then get dessert. That is a betrayal of your operating system. Your operating system, how do you know when it's time to eat? How do you know when it's time to stop? How do you end that always empty feeling, trying to feel that emptiness in your stomach? And then, of course, it doesn't help your self-esteem any. You take the diet program, you take the, the pills, or you do the lap band surgery, and it all comes back. Then you have some idea that you've got some kind of disease or some genetic malfunction. But those are all lies. It's not. You've been emotionally indoctrinated and trained to eat when you, don't, when you shouldn't be eating. How many times I've heard the story? I was forced to eat something at the table. I sat there for hours and I had to eat it. And I tried to stuff it in my socks. I tried to stuff it on the table, try to feed it to the dogs. And they said, if you don't eat that, you're gonna have it for breakfast. Or better yet, this shame and humiliation of being put on a diet at an early age. Or better yet, the woman at the shopping mall with her cart shopping, grocery shopping, and some stranger, total stranger, comes up to her, her, her cart, takes something out. You don't be needing eating that. There's so, many, so much trauma in and around food. You know, the woman who'd buy a bag of Oreo cookies and she would go home and hide in her own closet and eat those cookies like she was a little girl and she lives alone. These are emotional indoctrinated systems that no diet will ever touch. No exercise program will ever change it. But I can help you change it. I can help you get rid of these programs. Lose weight without even trying to. All you have to do is address the programmings. To say all that, this Sunday, and it's going to be for four weeks, I'm going to be doing, you know, lose weight by using the power of your mind, using neuroplasticity, changing how you feel, changing your relationship that you have with food, and it will change your life. The cool thing is, we had Stephanie and Michelle, and there's, I have lots of testimonials on my YouTube. They lost over 100 pounds, 100 pounds, and they tell you exactly how they did it. They became emotionally intelligent. They addressed their emotions, they addressed their stressors. They, they addressed the eating programs, and they learned to like themselves. Stephanie, 280 pounds. She's, and I said, listen, you learn to like yourself. You need to start doing your happy journal. You need to, don't worry. Don't worry about losing the weight to go to Africa. Don't worry about losing weight. Just go and honor yourself and do the right things. And she did. And you know what she did? She took her happy journal with her and she would write down the positive emotional experiences. And she went back and it takes her right back there. She took her 260, 280 pound body out there. She chose to put herself first, not last. This is where the power of discovering how to change you. And if you, if you tried everything else, this system will work. Now, again, I know it. there's gonna be parts of this system that's gonna address the real problem. And the real problem is emotions and memories because this is what makes you do what you don't want to do. You know, it's like the woman for a perfect example. She says, I don't understand why I have such an addiction to popcorn. Every night I have to eat it. I mean, not that she dislikes it, but she says, I cannot not do that. And I began to explain, well, so that's kind of how the brain works in some ways. I said, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about your childhood growing up. She said, oh God, the table was hell. Dad's going to have somebody crying, always. So anytime we eat, it's bad. But she said, but back in those days, you know, they got the little TV. Everybody's around this TV, all looking at this TV. And popcorn was served. Positive emotional eating patterns. And so for her, popcorn and TV and family represents a positive emotional experience. So now here she lives alone. She's eating the popcorn, but no family shows up. That's the bizarreness of her unconsciousness. 
So if you're ready for something that'll actually work for you, and I guarantee you this will work, only as you use it and as you'll use it, and I'll show you how to take the love out of food and keep the love where it's supposed to be. I'll show you how to eat properly to where you're actually honoring your body and listening to your body, listening to your inner self. And you'll learn how to address the number one reason why you eat when you're not hungry. And it's S-T-R-E-S-S, -S, stress. It's a killer. It makes you fat. It makes you miserable. It makes you sick. Your health will improve. Stephanie, for example, she had all kinds of pain in her body. Every day, she's taking some kind of a pain medication to numb the pain. In the weight loss seminar, I said, let me show you how to do this. She eliminated the pain. So I'd like to invite you. It's this Sunday coming up, whatever the date is. <laughs> I don't know what the day is, is, is. But anyway, every Sunday, it's a, I think it's a two hour or three hour meeting, four weeks, and you're gonna learn how to do it. You learn how to change yourself. So I want to invite you. Now, of course, I had to put the link in, but as soon as I'm done with this here and we'll get it live, I will put the link in and you will come and your life will change. I guarantee you that. More levels than you ever imagined possible. So this is Robert Jean in the great state of Oklahoma. And by the way, we got a seminar coming up in Oklahoma too. You can change yourself. That's what you want. You can change yourself a seven-day course when you walk out on that last Friday. On, on Let's see, Friday, you're going to be a different person. Go through Oklahoma, the great state of Oklahoma. We'll talk to you later. Love yourself, like yourself, and within yourself. And as you do that, the world gets better for you. Peace.